Hi there, it's Scott Moyes here from Capro Systems and chipex.co.nz. This is the first in a series of videos I'll be creating to support a make your thing learning event that's being run in Fungaray at Boys High on the 20th of August with um, in conjunction with technohackers.org. So Fusion 360 is a cloud-based um, CAD CAM kind of product innovation platform if you will. Um, you can do everything from rendering to simulation to creating toolpaths for CNC machines and, and modeling up um, parts. So th this event's going to be um, focusing on modeling up a fidget spinner. It's a fidget spinner just because it's actually a pretty good little product to cover a whole lot of things inside the product in a short space of time um, to kickstart people's learning. Now Fusion 360 is free for education. Um, it's both students and teachers and it's free for hobbyists as well. For students and teachers, and this is the purpose of this video, you can get access to your software through the Autodesk Education website. So if you just go, you don't, don't have to type in home, but if you just Google Autodesk Education or auto, go to autodesk.com forward slash education, it will bring you to this page here. Switch over to get free software. Um, now all of Autodesk software is free for students and teachers, so um, there's a whole bunch of them here. Um, you can have a look at all products and see and get access to all of this professional level software. Some of it is really, really powerful stuff. Um, so the featured products here and the one we're focusing on today is uh, Fusion 360. So if you s just select get software, kicks you over to this new page and you can choose to create an account. So three year education license, so you just have to renew it after three years. Um, and it will work on a Mac or a PC. Now um, it does need to be a 64 bit um, PC and ideally it would it needs a an onboard graphics a, a dedicated graphics card as part of it so if you've got um, an Intel i5 or i7 processor they come with built-in graphics um, Fusion doesn't run particularly well in that scenario but it will run so it's better than nothing but you're better off with something that's got even a, a basic um, standalone graphics card so there's actually two versions of Fusion 360. You can, well, three in a way. You can, um, there's a student version, a teacher version, um, but then there's also kind of um, an educational facility or academic institution version, um, which is a separate download and you can be used for installing all, all of the school or college or university lab computers. So we're just gonna focus on creating individual accounts here. So, um, New Zealand, it'll be interesting to see whether, uh, so I'm going to say I'm an educator, go to next, and Fusion teacher, and my email is the one that I've just set up, just this temporary one up here, Fusion360 user, at outlook dot, which one is it, dot com. Should have set up .co.nz. Anyway, there we go. So at outlook.com, and I need to create a password. So uh, agree to the terms of service and create my account. So I should get a verification email now. So I'll just jump in here and just refresh my page. It'll turn up in a minute. There we go. So once you've got the email, just make sure you click on verify email here. And my account becomes verified. Done. Okay, so now this immediately kicks me over into the next stage of the process. So what's the name of Hungary Boys High, look at that. Already in there. So if you're Girls High, you can go to Girls High as well. Department, pff, I'm not sure. Design, technology. Areas I teach. Others. And so this is the difference. 
Okay, so this can't be changed. The personal use it on your personal device, but if it's being installed on school computers and you're the IT guy or you're working with the IT guy, then um, set up personal use and educational institution deployment. Now, don't just go creating a whole bunch of these accounts because um, it's best that there's only one educational account for your school. Um, so just yeah, just check with your IT guy. He might he might already have uh, an Autodesk Education account, in which case um, he can get all the deployment software. In this case here, we're just going to be for, and for this event essentially, we're just going to be focusing on for you personally. Um, so we're going to be setting it up on the personal device. Okay, so now the account's been created. Um, from this page here, you just need to select register. Simple as that. And now you can download your software. Now for students, it's basically the same process. Okay, you just say you're a student instead. Once that's downloaded, run that and it will just stream through and install the software for you. The, the then the next step is once the software is installed and launches, just sign in using the email that you used to sign up to the Autodesk Education website and type in your password and you're good to go. The next video will just cover a quick orientation around Fusion 360, some of the basic um, user interface um, options and some settings that you might want to set up in your preferences. Thanks for tuning in and um, hope to see you at the event and yeah, catch you next time. Bye.